So Tia Maori sent the internet into disarray when she announced that she was leaving her man Corey Hardick after they have been together for 23 long years. Tia has been trying to keep it cute and not speaking much on the drama, but it looks like we finally know why she suddenly decided that she had had enough of the marriage. And just a little bit of a spoiler, Corey does not look good in this drama and people are dragging him for filth. So it looks like tis the season for celebrity divorce because it feels like every Everybody in Hollywood is either getting divorced, separated, or breaking up, and honestly, it's just a lot. So many celebs have announced their breakup in the past couple of days, including Nanzanine Mandy and Miguel and Tom Brady and Giselle, and even Tia Maori and Corey Hardick. Now, out of all of these celebrities, I think Tia and Corey is the one that shocked everybody the most because everybody thought that they were gonna be in game. We thought that they were in it for life, and we never even heard any rumors that they were having issues in their marriage marriage until they announced that they were breaking up. Yeah, it's actually a total shocker. I think the crazy thing is, is that they've been together for a very long time because they started dating in 1999 and got married in 2008. This means that they have been married for 14 years and together for 23, which is crazy if you think about it because not that many Hollywood marriages last that long because these celebs be divorcing after their two business days. But anyways, they do have two kids together, an 11 year old son and four year old daughter and their marriage appeared to be solid. In 2021, Tia had an interview on People, the TV show, and she talked about how she and Corey managed to keep their marriage going great. What makes your marriage, you know, a great marriage? And if I'm being really honest with you, it's, and we've been doing this for years, we don't focus on, you know, specific gender roles, meaning the women should just do one thing and then the men should just do one thing. It's, it's a team effort at our house. In another episode, she referred to him as her partner in crime and her best friend and admitted that she can't think of herself without Corey. I see Corey as my partner in crime. You know, it's like, I'm not doing this alone. So y'all, how on earth did they go from being besties and being obsessed with each other to filing for divorce 23 long years later? Well, a few days before filing for the divorce, T was posting some cryptic posts on Twitter and Instagram saying, I am love. I will only choose to see love. I hope you will too. Reminder, you are enough. You deserve love and you deserve to be understood for who you truly are. And letting go can be painful, but it won't hurt as much as holding on to an illusion. And this screenshot that's said, you're going to be celebrating something major soon. Your heart and mind will be at peace. You'll see it miraculously work out. Be grateful for now. She also made this post on Instagram where she said, here's two things we can control in life, our altitude and our effort. And as hard as it is to accept all the things we cannot control and to let go, sometimes we have to in order to grow. I am making a commitment to love myself fiercely and unconditionally and to make more trips to the beach because it's where I'm happiest. Reminder, you are enough. You deserve love and you deserve to be understood for who you truly are. Now, I don't know if you guys can see the pattern here, but in her recent post before announcing the divorce, she keeps talking about being enough and learning to love herself some more and stuff like that. And it kind of makes me wonder if there is more to these statements than we know, but we'll get to that part later. Anyway, she finally announced the divorce on Instagram saying, I have always been honest with my fans and today is no different. I wanted to share that Corey and I have decided to go our separate ways. These decisions are never easy and not without sadness. We will maintain a friendship as we co-parent our beautiful children. I am grateful for all the happy times we had together and want to thank my friends, family, and fans for your love and support as we start this new chapter moving forward in our lives. When I tell you that this post sent the internet into chaos, please believe me, because listen, the internet lost its ever-loving mind. Tia and Corey were that couple that everyone thought was in game and we never ever thought we'd even imagine that there would be a possibility of them getting divorced but here we are now people are still in disbelief over the divorce with someone saying i'm not one to be upset over a famous couple splitting up but not tia maori and corey hardrick another person commented tia maori filed for divorce corey hardrick i'm gonna need you to step outside and talk to us we we not gonna jump you and this other person spoke facts when they said tia maori and corey 
already getting a divorce is the one I didn't see coming because they seem so happy. But everything that glitters ain't gold. People can portray a happy and healthy marriage on social media, but we don't know what goes on behind closed doors. But anyways, according to TMZ, Tia is asking the courts to terminate spousal support, which means that neither she nor Corey will be paying alimony of any kind to each other. She also asked for joint physical and legal custody for their two kids, which leads us to believe that the divorce is going to be low key and we aren't going to see any messy drama from them. But let's go back to her comments about being enough and loving herself. Sure, everybody should love themselves because self-love is the best kind of love, but the way she kept hammering on it in the days before she announced the divorce makes me think that something happened recently that led to the divorce. Yeah, I mean, they've been together for a very long time, back to when they was taken over for the 9-9 in the 2000s, and it's entirely possible that they just grew apart or something shifted in the relationship and they realized that they would be better off apart or realized that they weren't as happy to Together as they were in the beginning. And maybe they just decided to get a divorce so they could lead separate lives and be happier. Cause for some people it can get tiring being with another person for 23 years. Cause let's face it, 23 years is a long time. Now while this is valid, I don't think that that's the case here. And we're gonna circle back to her post. And this time we're going to take things back a little bit more on her Twitter page. Now back in August, she tweeted about how much she loved being married saying, I love, love, love marriage and I love committing to one person, it feeds my soul. And it's kinda hard to imagine that she was already considering divorce because why would she talk so much about how she loved being married and committed if she was already planning to get a divorce? It sounded like she was genuinely happy in August and things were going good between her and Corey, but then something happened and changed everything. Now, if we jump forward a few weeks to early September, that's when the cryptic post started and she was saying things like, reminder, you can't choose what life throws at you, but you can choose how you respond. Have you ever been rejected or completely ignored even when your heart is pure? Dang, it doesn't feel good. But trust, rejection is God's protection. It's never too late to put yourself first and currently making space for what's meant. So this just tells us that somewhere along the line between August and September, Corey most likely did something that hurt Tia so bad that she found it hard to forgive him. And this is eventually what led to the divorce because she had had enough and was going to put herself first. Now this is all allegedly and we can't know for sure if that is what exactly happened, but I think it is because a few minutes after Tia confirmed the divorce, Corey did a post and delete on his Instagram story saying, acting off emotions will cost you every time. This was obviously a shade towards Tia and the divorce and this just seems to confirm that he really did something to set her off and make her upset. Even worse, it kind of comes off as him blaming her for something he he did, allegedly. You know like, I know I messed up, but you shouldn't have gotten so upset about it because now you've ruined everything. And listen, when I tell you that people dragged Corey for his statement, y'all better believe me because he was cooked online. People left all sorts of comments like, this is a man who did something wrong. We all know this response and it's giving believe what you want. Keep it cute, Corey. We don't play about Tia. Sound like he called her bluff and she filed for divorce anyway. You cheated on my sis or something? Like, be for real. So while Tia said that she was divorcing because of irreconcilable differences, it looks like we know what those differences are. And boy, Corey is not looking good in the courts of public opinion. But anyways, while we wait to see if Corey is going to throw some more shade at Tia, y'all check out this other video because I know how much y'all love you some messy drama.